What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. Last time, we started making our way through Okumura's Palace. We managed to begin the infiltration and managed to get the Chief Director's ID card from the barracks. In this episode, we are off to continue going through the palace. We're done with this uh, sort of remixed area of the barracks area. And we're just going to keep on going until we hit something new. So I'll meet you guys when something different appears. This area is a little bit different. So whereas in the original game... There was a platform over here that we could take to get over to the other side. This time around, though, there is no platform. Instead, there are a little, there's a little drone right here. It takes us over here instead. So, a bit of a different way to get across this area. Uh, but otherwise, it's pretty much the same. Uh, there are a few different things here, so I'm just gonna keep going across here. I don't think it's really too different, except down here. Somewhere. Could hop on across this way. And this is, I guess, yeah. This just gets us over here, so that way... Instead of needing to go through that whole mess again, we can just hit the switch and get right back to where we were before. I can see it. So yeah, that's all that I really want to show off. The rest of this is the same. I'll go and get the chests, and otherwise I will meet you guys when there's something else. A treasure chest. So the treasure chest right here contains a black rock. Good for transmutation stuff. I'm detecting a badass. So we're on this end. So right here. Yes, I've already managed to map all that out. There's a gravel point that we can get to over here. And so if you really don't feel like going across that entire subsection over there. Focus. Uh, you don't necessarily need to go and do that. Uh, instead, you just gotta drop down here. Not really an easy way to get back, aside from going the other way around. There's a different treasure chest here, which has two magic ointments, and that can allow you to get over to the entrance to the factory a lot faster. So if you don't really feel like battling a bunch of different enemies, uh, you can use that as a bit of a shortcut. So over here, we have pretty close to another will seed. Oh, a treasure chest. And this also apparently a chest. The chest is right up this way. And we can get a model gun for transmutation stuff. We can also jump down this area, but there is a duct that we can duck into. And we can very clearly see... We have the will seat over there, but it's blocked off by some lasers. So, unfortunately, we won't be able to progress further that way. Instead, we need to find some way to turn off the lasers. So that's a little bit further in. Huh? So the factory area I don't think is really too much Different. There are, as we can see, various grapple points. Uh, but the lasers here function pretty much the same as they've always done. Mm. This is... Blah, 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 blah. Sure, why not? So that's our way to get over there. Mm. 
there's your hint that you need to go over there, and the enemy is still Somewhere. just fine. <laughs> Although it seems as though we can just go and just obliterate these enemies pretty easily. Whoa. But. Alright, so there really isn't too much difference here. Obviously, increasing the speed at all just causes it to collapse. Yes. No way, man. Yes. Hey. So that isn't really any different. Plus, you can also just go over here Show me your true form. and do that. Since we're that just powerful. Now, we still need to find a way to deal with the lasers over where the second will seat is. And there isn't really anything else over here, just a couple of extra treasures. Which means, in order to progress onward, we're gonna need to climb over the arm here. I can feel it. Uh, oh, that one I can't really do much with. I'll reveal your true form. Lend me a hand. Let's do something to earn applause. Hey, there we go! Baton pass into a showtime! Alright, we don't really do anything with Dekarabia, but now we can show Panther and Fox's showtime! Unworthy of my blade. Very beautiful. Very stylish, too. Do not obstruct us. It's over! You did it, Fox. This is a holdup! So now we'll just get rid of this Decadabia pretty quickly. All out of here! The finale. Yeah. Very, very much like the two of them to come up with a super artistic showtime. And I got some level ups right. too. Level up. Okay. All right. Well, that was nice. Nice to show that off. And a little bit of a console right here. And there we go. Now uh, we've turned off the lasers to the will seed. And we can also use this as, as an opportunity to quickly get our way back to where the will seed is. Okay, so we just jump down there, climb up over the piping, and there we go. It is rather interesting that the will seeds really aren't really too far out of the way. Like, they aren't super well guarded like this one. Well, with this, we have our second will seed. That's our second will seed so far. We're on a roll. All right. Um, I'm not quite sure there's really anything else too different about the factory area. Uh, at the very least for the time being. So I'll skip ahead to the next new thing. Show me your true form. Ooh, ah, okay. Well, this is definitely something new. We've got a rare enemy here, Koinor. Now, the reason I bring this up is that Koinor that has a different weakness this time around. This time, it is weak to guns. I mentioned this because I'm pretty sure it has a different weakness before. I want to say it was weak to darkness. Um. 
Uh, it's not in my notes, so I'm actually not entirely sure what it was weak to. But it wasn't weak to guns before, and now it's weak to guns. Alright, so let's switch on over to Joker. And just shoot you. Oh. Well then. I guess you want more. Just so you're aware that, yes, there are... The trend continues of having certain enemies having different weaknesses. Okay. They didn't stand a chance. Alright, so there isn't anything we can do over that way. Oh. Well, there they go. So that means that we're going to need to head on over this way. We can just do that. Um, there was a second one there. Oh, and that one's yellow. I'll reveal your true form. What was that? Something pathos? Anyway, Kaguya Picaro has Dianaha now. Um, I guess I can get rid of Garla. Ooh, and its last skill is Repel Physical. That will be very nice. Okay. I'll do this at the speed of light. Oh, nice. Alright, can go in to get more loot if we really wanted to. Would have been a shame. Would have been a real good thing if I had seen that one earlier, but oh well. Anyway, this isn't really all that much different. Let's change the arm speed. That allows us to go onward. Though, that one is still... Good, hmm. I feel as though I've missed something. I'm not sure if I did or not, though. Ah, I did not. The console for that is over there. Good to know. Good to know. I don't know if it was originally placed there before or not. But, we can just head on over here. Jump down. There we go. And then change the iron speed here so we can get to that lock chest. Somewhere. Show me your true form. And after that, the lock chest has a big bang axe. Okay. Bit of a shame that we're not actually seeing the dialogue from everyone when they have like their new items, but it can be hard to really predict that. And I really don't want to just handicap myself of not using good items until I actually get something for them. I'm not even gonna use. So let's continue onward. It seems. I think that's a little bit different. I'm not entirely sure if there were lasers here blocking the way before. Now, uh, there is the console right here to allow us to continue onward. However, let's maybe clear out some enemies first. Reveal your true form. Alright, now that we have that taken care of, we can now go to the console over here and continue onward. Um, I don't think the layout's really too much different. Now we already know the answer to this. 
Uh, but I will go through the other options just in case. So yeah, five seconds isn't enough to actually reach that. What was that? Indeed. Yeah, no way you can actually make that in five seconds. We still have 30 seconds to be able to make it over these. Uh, that one I think would be able to be fine. But we'll head on over this one first. There's a chest. Uh oh. I'll reveal your true form. Now, let's hurry ahead. That didn't quite go as well as I would have liked. Whatever, I've got plenty of SP. Anyway, over here we have a snuff soul. Hmm. So very nice. You can also use this to get back. And also get to where we actually need to go. Just fast forward that real quick. And all we gotta do is get on over here. There's a dude right here. I'll you just your take him out. I could have handled okay. that myself. That means we can go over here, grab us some plant balm, and then that just gets us down to this console over here. They don't seem to be color corded. Although this one does have a disable security. Yeah, that definitely wasn't there before. And since all the hydraulic presses are pretty much linked this time around, at least in this area. We can set the console to lunch. Get on over here, run across. Very quickly get on over to the other side. Now that the security has been disabled, we can go over here. Not really a whole lot over here, admittedly. It does allow us to get on over here. Hide. Uh, well, he's a little bit of a problem. I'll reveal your true form. Hm. I can child it. play. And with that, well, there's still an enemy over there that we can take out for some sweet loot. I'll reveal your true form. Stand a chance. Board There's a console now. right Find here if we want to get back. And a spaceship stick for us going forward. Grasp your new power! Well, Alright then. That didn't take too long. Okay. <sighs> that was fast. We're on this side of the map. Right over here. We have a chest! Just has musk, strength, and luck. Okay, so a new incense that can increase multiple stats. Very nice, very nice indeed. She won't listen to me. 
<laughs> wow, that definitely backfired on that Grimlacala. <laughs> it's a step forward. I was really worried there for a second. Oh boy, Cornered Fang. Not sure it's really too great, all things considered. Okay. We've rid ourselves of those yeah, even though it was just over there, uh, I forgot to head on over this way. Because there's a chest over here. A locked one at that. Lock chest has... An Armageddon Rod. Which, if you want to see that, the Armageddon Rod gives plus five to strength. And I guess while I'm thinking about it, Big Bang Axe doesn't have any other effects. So these are the Model CHs. So the Model CHs... Not what I wanted to press. Uh, do, 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 gotta pull up my notes. Uh, the Model CHs are weak to... Okay, so these were the ones that I was talking about before when we actually saw the AMs. So these are weak to Ice and Psychokinesis. Resist all other skills except Gun and Almighty and only no Assault Dive. These are those guys that I was talking about before. Four enemies hit the floor. You are, you're doing great! Alright, and then we can switch on over to Fox. This is my other self. And he can get rid of them. And now we have a whole nother group of them. Again, they're not really all that powerful. But Noir and or Fox can take them out pretty easily. I am thou. Crush them, Kamosusano! I mean, if you have both of them, then whichever one's one doesn't hit, the other one likely will. And there's a third wave. Which, once again, starts back at Noir. And this time, she didn't miss any. Oh man, three personas leveled up. Still think it's dumb that that there's no way to get rid of those lasers. Um Yeah, so that only allows us to get back over that way. And afterwards, we just go through the door. sure if those doors really do much. Oh no, I'm gonna hit the thing! Stupid robot. Anyway, okay. over here we have a treasure chest. Regardless of whether or not that was in the original game, this one has a physical ointment. And over here, where we had another sealed door, is a treasure demon. Okay, so the transfer line, I believe, is a little bit different this time around. Primarily because this area right here looks very suspiciously like a will seat area. Feel your true form. Ooh, and we have brand new enemies that are here. Meet Thunderbird. A brand new persona that was added to Royal, and you can find within Akumara's Palace. 
I know I really haven't shown off too many brand new personas, mostly because sometimes it's kind of hard to tell with how much I've already had in my compendium. But I did manage to write down which ones I knew for sure were brand new in terms of the palaces. So this is what Thunderbird has. Has Shogpu, Zeodyne, and Mazionga weak to Psychokinesis and Curse. Which means all three of them are weak to Psychokinesis. I know we really didn't get a chance to show off Thunderbird, but whatever. <sighs> Go ahead and activate this. Uh, there was something back over this way that we can go through, which might just actually be the switch that we need to pull. Indeed. And it is, actually. <laughs> Wait! Okay, I'll just go ahead and steal this, and instead of going through that right this second, we're gonna go all the way across to the other end. Because what I would like to do is get the Will Seed before going and activating that. And good thing I did too, because in order to get to the Will Seed, we need to go through here. And if we activated it to move on, it deactivates this here. Before we continue onward, though, I'm going to replace Noir with Mona. Because he's going to be a lot more helpful than she will be in this fight. Another one of Father's will seeds. Let's take it. Let's go. Um. I think so. Let's do this. So now we have to go against the guard of this palace's final will seed. The pagan savior, Melchizedek. Let's do this. Melchizedek is weak to wind, resists psychokinesis, nulls dark and drains light. And notes the skills God's Hand, Makolgeon, and Famine's Scream. So this fight is very much one that you're going to want to have Mona here for. Because wind is going to be how you're going to be able to get through this. Thankfully this fight isn't really too bad. Oh jeez. Uh, in which case... Uh, there's not really a whole lot, but I can use President's Insight All right. on Mona. Which, granted, you would not really have access to at this point, for obvious reasons. Uh, do I have any other Personas that have wind and I could really make use of? Um, not really. Well, I'll just stick with Neko Shogun. Joker, you're looking cool. Not like I have a persona that has got to dine. This is actually going quite well, actually. Not bad, 
Mona. Even without having Panther here, it still works out pretty well. Uh, I will go ahead and take the opportunity. Uh, yeah, I've got plenty of these. This one. Ooh, that hurt a lot. Okay, um. Thankfully, I have that ability on Mona, so that way our heals do a lot more. And then this should finish him off. So overall, not that difficult of a fight. I mean, the last one that we had, that one could have actually been a lot more problematic. But Melchizedek, really not all that difficult. All right, level up. Huh? You got a new skill? Neko Shogun gets Defense Master. Uh, I guess I could get rid of Invigorate one. I've already got an accessory that gives me seven, so an extra three isn't gonna really do much. Fortified Moxie might not be bad either. Oh, look. Ooh, Cyboost! Well, I don't need a break skill. Right beyond here. Is the final will seed. It's ours now. Sorry, Father. And with this, we now have the third will seed of the palace. So with that, we get the Crystal of Greed, which gives us Attack Master. So having this equipped gives us an auto Tarukaja at the start of a battle. Not all that bad. I'm gonna switch Mona out for Noir. I really just didn't want her out for that fight. And now we can progress onwards. Is there a safe room nearby? It'd help if we can find one. Pretty sure this is a new safe room. Which, if they could add safe rooms, why could they not add more to Kaneshiro's palace? when that was gonna happen. So yes! Occasionally, when you do finish an opponent with an all-out attack, instead of the person who triggered it getting the animation, Oracle comes down and finishes it off. It's completely random whenever that happens and it doesn't really change anything. But it is nice that when it does happen. A little bit of a bad thing that I think would have been better is if they had kept her in her costume because I very clearly did not have her usual outfits so that's a bit of a bummer that her animation doesn't change but whatever just another new thing that I wanted to show off and thankfully it did Oh, cool. Chest has. A Balm of Life. Not bad. And we're pretty much done with the airlock section here. I don't think the puzzle really changed 
in any meaningful way. So there really wasn't a need to show off really any part of this. Unfortunately, it also means no, yeah. no new shortcut either. Yeah, if I wanted to try to do my usual tactic of going through the palace, you know, when during the actual mission, this would still be a pain in the ass to get through. And here we are, right at the end. So, once again, huh? we have a safe room. Focus. Oh, if we head on down this treasure. way, we have ourselves oh, oh. a rare chest. Or lock chest, I guess. Just has a spacesuit. All right, a unisex armor, which doesn't offer any additional benefits. And the rest of this isn't really anything different compared to what was in the original game. You can just head on down there. We head on over this way. The treasure is right there. Well, with treasure in hand, we can't actually head on over this way real quick. Swipe this. None of that really does much of anything. But the treasure has been located, and now we can send the calling card. And with that, our palace infiltration has concluded. So let's get out of here. And for once, there isn't anything new in the Velvet Room at the end of the palace. Although, it is still red here, so I may want to go and at least do a fusion. Do Might even be able to see what's in the network fusion. Okay, I still have a little bit of an issue trying to fuse personas that are higher level than I am. But I also do have the ability to fuse higher level personas than I am. So I feel a little less guilty doing this. So we are fusing away Taka Minakata and Black Frost from a network fusion in order to fuse Magatsu Isanagi Picaro. You wish to fuse an ally beyond your limits? It'll cost us about 48,000 yen, but that isn't too bad. Choose which skills to inherit. Okay, so uh, Magatsu Isanagi Picaros and regular Magatsu Isanagi has the ability of Hollow Jester, which increases uh, all damage by 40% per status ailment inflicted on an enemy. The reason why it's a per enemy is because Magatsu Mandala can inflict three. Also, Ghastly Whale can be done in order to just insta kill something. You seek power beyond your limits. Choose which skills to inherit. So we also have Intense Focus and Frigid Bloodline. I'm just gonna keep Hollow Jester. That seems fine. Uh, Bufudine. Kolga, Fred, actually, why am I doing Bufodine? I can use Diamond Dust. Uh, wow, I've got a few things. Magic Ability, which will increase my overall attack power. Uh, Kolga, Fredine, and what else? Do I want to use Concentrate? I may just do Concentrate. Then again, I do have that ability where someone else can just cast it on me. Hmm. Let's go with... Or I could go with one-shot kill. Yeah, we'll go with one-shot kill let us instead. See powers will emerge. Now, let us begin.
The interesting thing with the Karo version of Magatsu Izanagi is that instead of a Shujin uniform, it's just the stars on, like, the pause menu. Also, he has a very different face this time around. Oh! Okay. Hmm. Koga and Freydine. Those could potentially mutate. Um... No, I'm kind of good. I kind of want to keep just having... <clears throat> or do I... It could potentially upgrade. I mean, I've got other personas that have Freydine, and Koga isn't exactly the best of light scales. At least I don't think it is. I think Kogeon is probably the best. And we'll chance it. Eh. Null Elec is interesting. Would've been great if it was Null Nuclear. Dakunda, much less so. And we get Magarudine. Um, I really don't care for Dakunda. And next is Bloodbass. Ooh, that will be very interesting. Ooh, and we get a special skill! Okay, this might actually work. Because we're using a network fusion, we can get Almighty Boost from this. Ooh, that would be really good to increase the effectiveness of Megadola. Alright, well, I'm fine with not just having insta-kill. So we'll go with that. That will make this a very interesting persona to have. So I already went and saved ahead of time. Because I want to see how this is going to turn out. I'm fusing away Orpheus and the Magatsu Isanagi Pakaro that I just made. Which is why I saved it. And we're going to see what happens to this Hariti. Well, well. So instead of Hariti, what do we get? We get... Pazuzu! Okay... Interesting... Huh! This is very interesting. So, chance to fear. This is very much a fear-based persona. Plus spirit, drain, and stagnant air. Huh. Honestly? I don't think this is a bad setup. <laughs> this really isn't a bad setup. Plus, let's see. Rain, snow, pollen, warning, always in effect. Ooh, that means if he gets ambient aid. Damn, okay. This is a very interesting persona. Because oftentimes with these changes, they are absolute crap. But this, this is a, this is definitely a fear setup. Plus with Bloodbath, it at least gives some extra, um, some extra damage that I can do. Like evil touch and evil smile. Plus, having Ghastly Whale to just auto-kill? That's not really a bad thing. Hmm. I raise him up and I can get Ambient Aid. And those powerful shadows are gonna have a lot to contend with. This is interesting. This is very interesting. I think I may want to keep this Pazuzu. Well, I went ahead and bought back a few extra personas that I need. And, as a bonus, since I am now level 45, I went ahead and bought Hectacon Carries, not only because I needed a Hanged Man persona, but we can also finish off the Twins' request. 
What? Let's go ahead and continue on in the confidant. See? You can do it. Farewell. A reward for rank 8, by the way, is just guillotine boosters. So that way we can fuse 5 and 6 uh, multi-fusions. So anyway, to get to rank 9, we need to have a Bugs with Samirakarm. <laughs> okay. What level is Bugs? You I want to say it's around 49. Oh, uh, well, my Bugs is level 53 and does have Samirakarm and is also really freaking good. Uh, but Bugs is a special fusion. See, yes, okay, I was right. Bugs is level 49. I figured as much. A little bit out of the way for us. Yes, I could theoretically do this with the same logic that I did with Magatsu Isanagi, but I'm just gonna hold off. It is time, inmate. Maybe we'll try to keep some level of challenge here and not completely abuse the system. Anyway, with everything that we've managed to accomplish, I think now is about as good as time as any to call it a day. So, next time on Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. With the Path to the Treasure having been completed, all we have to do is send the calling card and then we can head on into the palace and steal the treasure. That is what we're most likely going to be doing next time, unless there's something with, again, Shinya really preventing us. Uh, I don't see any reason to really hold this off longer than we need to. We'll see just what all happens, and we will go from there. Until next time, everyone. Take care.